everybody! So it's been a while since I've made a video and there are multiple reasons why. One being health, second being I've been busy. So, but the past, I just had to share this with everybody. Um, past like two months have been really hard. At work, it's been stressful there's just been a lot of change and things not going as smoothly as they used to and then like physically health wise I've just been really sick and struggling with different like symptoms and things um that have me in bed for like whole weekends and I just been sick so overall circumstances have not been ideal uh they haven't been comfortable or easy um, and I've definitely gotten frustrated and I've cried and I've gotten irritated um, and so through all of this I know like God is still God and he's still sovereign but there are moments when you have to remind yourself of that over and over again um, and so just in the last week especially the last two days um i've been feeling very like defeated defeated is the word very defeated and um just down and overwhelmed and i'm a very upbeat positive person like i always think um i'm optimistic and i don't get down very easily at all and so to be in that space was just so awful because <laughs> I just it was I didn't like it I didn't like it at all um I can handle not feeling good that's really hard but I can handle that but when I'm emotionally and mentally defeated and I I can't handle that so yesterday I just had to do a lot of praying and just the last two months just surrendering um but especially yesterday I just I didn't want to go to work and I was done and I was just like irritable and I was like I'm not even gonna pretend like I care um which is bad but um just kept praying and surrendering and listening to music and trying to remember um or allow the Lord to remind me that he loved me that I'm not condemned that this is a spiritual battle but he ultimately has the victory um and that he is going to walk with me as I go through these things and while they are hard they are for my best and so this morning um I got up and I was like I gotta exercise <laughs> um get those endorphins flowing and then I opened my Bible or I open my devotion I read my utmost for his highest uh and or I have been lately and I was like I'm just gonna open it up and read it and just take my devo slow like just take my time and it's August 31st and the title is called my joy your joy and the verse is John 15 11. so what I've been doing is I go I go to the verse and I read the whole chapter so I can get the full picture. <sighs> and God did what only he can do. So John 15, if you didn't know, is about God, like, I'm the vine, you are the branches. And so I read that and I was like, what is happening right now? Like, what in the world are you doing and who am I that you're doing this for me? So, lesson number one. If you are struggling and you're, whether it be physical, mental, you're overwhelmed by, just circumstances are hard, run to the Lord. Just fall on your face before him because he's faithful and he will answer you and he will comfort you and guide you. So, I read it and just reminded in verse 3 um, that I wasn't condemned and he'd already like forgiven me 
Um, and then just again and again, Jesus is telling his disciples, abide in me, abide in me. Um, like apart from me, you can do nothing. And then he says, if you abide in me, if you pray, if you ask for something, it'll be done. Um, and then verse 9, it says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. And so these are things that I need to be reminded of. I need to be reminded that I was forgiven and I wasn't condemned. I need to be reminded that my source is him and that I can go to him and he will listen and then answer for my best. Maybe not necessarily what I think he should, but for my best. And then that he loves me perfectly and wholly. Like, whole, like, W-H-O-L, W-H-O-L-L-Y. Um, and I was blown away this morning because God did that. He knew what I was going through. So then I read that, totally blown away, and then I read the devotion, and it says this. A little excerpt. The full flood of my life is not bodily health, not in bodily health, not in external happenings, not in seeing God's work succeed, but in the perfect understanding of God and in communion with him that Jesus himself had. The first thing that will hinder this joy is the capricious, capricious irritation of thinking out circumstances. Be a center for Jesus Christ to pour living water through. Stop being self-conscious. Stop being a sanctified prig and live the life hid with Christ. I have been thinking through my circumstances and trying to figure out how it could be done better or how I should be acting better or how like I'm a failure but what I need to do is abide in Christ and so what happened this morning was the Holy Spirit convicted me while gently leading me and guiding me and reminding me of the truth and so yesterday as I was praying the Lord said this is a spiritual battle you need to remember your armor, um, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and the sword of the spirit. So I just want to encourage you um, that whatever circumstances you're going through, God is faithful and you can run to him and he will perfectly lead you. And that might involve some conviction. But conviction is good because it takes us off the path that is leading towards destruction, whatever that looks like, and putting us back on the path that leads to joy and life in him. So uh, thanks for watching and um, I pray that you guys are encouraged and that you will allow the Lord to work in your life. And yeah, that's it. Thanks.